Welcome back to WKYT's. Our new news hour continues. The Kentucky Cancer Link provides support by reducing and or eliminating barriers to screening, diagnosis, and the treatment of cancer. And next month, they're going to be hosting a dance in celebration of survivorship. Lori Beth Miller and Hunter Lyle join us. And we're so glad to have you in here. This sounds like not only a fun event, but also a very important event. Yes. A good it's, combination. It's a lot of fun. Um, Brian and my husband and I are dancing and we were not dancers beforehand and we we're having a whole lot of fun with our coach and we've learned a lot about each other and we've learned that you can get out there and have a lot of fun and not be embarrassed. What a great side benefit to, oh, uh, to learn that. We, I didn't think we'd be doing that, but we're having a whole lot of fun. That's well, good. Extra bonus, right. Hunter, this is a, really an opportunity for you to extend what you do and the, and the joy you bring to people's lives to something that's also very, very important. It really is. We love helping in the community. We've been here for 17 years. We love doing things for the community. And this began just in a moment of a, a brainchild with Melissa Carr and Vicki Blevins Booth and ourselves, and we just decided to create something. You know, until there's a Cure, there's care and you can help people that need it desperately and you can do it through joy and that's what we decided to try to do. Now, Lori Beth, tell us why this is so important to you and what you hope that other people who get a diagnosis can learn from this. Well, well I had cancer, had cancer, it's nice to use the past tense. Yes, yeah. I was diagnosed last August and I had such a remarkable path of treatment and I had such an incredible team of people who cared about taking care of me and if there is anything at all including dancing lessons that I can do to pay it forward or to educate more people about it or to raise money for such right. a great cause oh. so that there can be that cure found then I'm game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any advice that, that you give to others who may face a cancer diagnosis? Important advice that I received yeah. was to ask a lot of questions, to be vigilant about any changes you have in your body. And one of the things that we did in our situation is we set some ground rules. So I sort of set the stage and I said, these are the things we're gonna do. And if I need help, I'm gonna ask for it. But every time you see me scratch or itch, don't assume that I'm in pain. Let me, let me tell you when I need help. I'm so and, glad that you're doing well and, yes. and that this is a part of it too, yeah. the healing yes. process yeah. as yeah. well. When is it? How can people well, take part? November 11th, if you go to idanceforhope.com, you can get this. There's going to be a celebrity auction, live auction items that are amazing, silent auction, celebrity judges, and it's going to be a sold out event. So if you want tickets, get them now. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's idanceforhope.com on November 11th on Saturday, and it's going to be downtown at the Grand Reserve. It's a lot of fun and a great time. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming by, and I uh, hope pleasure. it's a sell out, and, and, uh, and uh, certainly a continued uh, uh, success, and good luck for you. Thanks yeah, for coming. I love that dancing. Yeah.